When your AC stops working, just call the experts at KS Services Heating and Air. They're fast and affordable. Right now, purchase any Bryant Energy Efficient System and save with 0% interest for 60 months with approved credit. It comes included with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we will always give you three quotes for every situation. A good, better, and best. Call KS Services Heating and Air today. We roll on whatever it takes. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, August 21st. I'm James Spann. Eclipse Day. The weather looks nice and quiet. We'll see an uptick in the number of showers and storms later this week, especially on Wednesday and Thursday. And the tropics are pretty active. So let's go in there and check it out. Kind of looks like an August day. The storm track, the main westerlies across North America. North of here, we have a moist environment, upper high overhead. Starting off the day, mostly in the 70s, although Gadsden and Fort Payne are in the upper 60s. We'll be up in the low to mid 90s today, pretty typical for this time of the year. There's the watch warning map, a couple of flash flood watches well to the west and north. Things are quiet here. Severe storms possible today over Iowa and some of the adjacent states. Tomorrow, risk of severe storms from near Lubbock, Texas, up into New England. And day three, which is Wednesday, a marginal risk along the middle Atlantic coast. Thunderstorms certainly possible here, but organized severe weather not expected. Here's the rain for the next seven days, valid through Monday morning of next week, about one inch for much of the state. And again, we'll start to see an increase in scattered showers and storms by Wednesday. And in the tropics, we've got the ghost of Harvey that uh, degenerated over the weekend. That's over the Caribbean little wave east of the Bahamas, and one that's in the Central Atlantic. This is the five-day outlook. That went out in the Central Atlantic, not expected to develop. We've got uh, 92L near the Bahamas. That could bring some rain to parts of Florida, and the, the ghost of Harvey looks like it's headed for the southwest Gulf of Mexico. Let's start with the remnants of Harvey. Uh, modeling in pretty good agreement here. This thing comes across the Yucatan, the southwest Gulf, with a potential landfall near the southern tip of Texas, maybe as a tropical storm in about uh, three or four days later this week. Uh, most likely, if that happens, the main effect will be uh, the, the heavy rains. Here's the intensity guidance, and most of the models do bring it up to tropical storm strength that will get the name Harvey again. A couple of them make it a Category 1 hurricane. But our friends, obviously, in South Texas will have to keep an eye on that. No direct impact here. This is 92L, the one that's east of the Bahamas. This will drift over toward uh, the east coast of Florida. And again, mainly a, a, you know just a rain producer. Uh, the intensity guidance and the models that pick it up, most kind of keep it uh, where it is now. The, the conditions are not really favorable for big strengthening here, maybe becoming a tropical storm. It would be Irma if that happens. But again, the main effect would be rain for uh, parts of Central and South Florida. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06E run valid today at 1 o'clock, 594 ridging here with the westerlies up north. Classic look for August. And here's the eclipse forecast coming from WPC, the cloud cover percentage, with the uh, path of totality included there. And it, look, it's not going to be clear today. This is summer. You're going to see a field of cumulus clouds. And there might even be a little shower or two somewhere. Uh, so, again, understand the sky will not be just blue and clear. You might have to dodge. In fact, you will have to dodge these cumulus clouds. But during that window, you should have a pretty good chance of seeing it at times. Looks pretty good up in Tennessee as well. And they'll have the same situation we will have. But, again, that's the uh, setup for the eclipse today. The solar eclipse, noon to 3, the peak for north central Alabama coming about 1.30. Don't be a bonehead. Use protective eyewear like you would do any day if you're staring up into the sun. This is uh, tomorrow. Moisture levels increasing a little bit. We'll probably start, start to see a slight uptick in the number of scattered showers and storms. And this is Wednesday, a surface front approaching. And that should offer a clear increase in the number of showers and storms. That might be the day this week with the better coverage of them. This is Thursday. The air becomes a little drier. And again, uh, the better chance of showers and storms probably shifting down into the southern part of the state. And again, Friday, maybe a shower or storm in spots. The better coverage, again, most likely across the southern counties of Alabama. 
Weather for the weekend. This is Saturday. We'll have your typical chance of scattered showers and storms. We should mention that the heat levels come down after uh, Wednesday. Highs go back in the 80s. The high Saturday should be in the mid-80s. Uh, the GFS showing 85. This is Sunday looks a little drier. Again, mid-80s. Here's a week from today, Monday the 28th. Broad troughing over the east. Looks pretty dry. We note uh, 92L is lurking off the Atlantic coast. That'll be kind of recurving out to sea with a trough if anything forms there. But again, that looks pretty dry for us. This is uh, the end of the forecast period, 10 days out. This is Wednesday, the 30th of August. Almost, almost toward the beginning of meteorological fall, troughing over the east. And again, that looks like maybe a few scattered showers and storms about. Hey, check out the numbers. The peak of the heat happening right now. Uh, highs up in the 90s uh, today, tomorrow. After that, they come on down. In fact, the GFS gets kind of bullish with cool I say cool, cool for the season. Continental air is showing highs in the 70s and lows down towards 60 in about a week. Man, that'll feel good if that happens. A nice preview of fall. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. AC broken? Just call KS Services Heating and Air. All Bryant Energy Efficient Systems come with a five-year labor warranty, and our fair price guarantee means that we'll always give you three quotes for every situation. Just call KS Services Heating and Air today.